They get smaller, yet deadlier. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Battle Master Fire Drive. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top here, we have some nice artwork of a Fire Drive from the Siege. Battle Master on the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back, you have your obligatory product shots, things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have a Fire Drive, the next of our Masters of Battle in this Siege line. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the little dude here. As you can see, tiny little Autobot symbol right there on the forehead, the face, done in red. So nice. That's what's going on there. You got some red there on the chest, a little bit of a gray right there, and some pretty nice details. Going down the legs, moving up the back, got the uh, double-barreled blasters going on back there. But yeah, pretty nice design as far as I'm concerned. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, the head does not move, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so the arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Uh, no elbows or anything, nothing at the waist. You do get a bit of an ab crunch here due to transformation, although it's... Kind of weird, but hey, it's a thing that moves if you want it to move. The hips are on a ball joint. Legs can go forward, that far, back, that far if you go around the guns there. Outward, almost a full split. You also get that bit of rotation there at the ball joint itself. Nothing at the knees, nothing at the feet. So, there you go. And for comparison, here he is with one of the Autobot MicroMasters here. And he's taller a little bit taller here he is with hot rods titan master here he is with one of the pretender shells here he is with legends bumblebee just because here he is with deluxe side swipe so you can see how that works out and here he is with Titan's Return Hot Rod. So you can see how they look together. And coming back down to ground level here, here he is with Lionizer. So you can see how those two work out. Um, one thing to point out about Lionizer, you can uh, remove his little blade tail here. And uh, these little pegs actually do fit into these ports on his forearms. I mean, so if you wanted to, you could totally give him like a giant arm blade of some kind. Hey, that's a thing. It's a, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Another thing with this sword also is uh, it is a three millimeter peg here at the base. So you can give it to, you know, your pretender shells or any of your little bots that have three millimeter, three millimeter pegs in uh, three millimeter ports rather in their hands. You can give them that as a big sword if you want to. Hey, all things, things you can do. Actually, wait, something just, something just occurred to me. I wonder, because there are these, like, ports on the sides of the blade here. I wonder if these tabs would, these little tabs on the inside of his forearms, I wonder if those fit in there? Eh, yeah, kind of do. Eh, there you go. That kind of works. At least makes him look like he's holding it. Hey, there you go. Hey, I discovered something. Just thought to try that just now. Okay, hey. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? But anyway, that's it for Fire Drive's little robot mode. I think he's quite a cool looking little robot design. I'd like it, but let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! He can't break dance. He can't break dance at all. But to transform him into his gun mode, it is pretty straightforward here. You just take the guns, you bring them up over his head, you want to take his feet and just tab them together. You want to make use of that ab crunch there. Just fold that all the way in. The feet will just peg in right up there, like so. Then you take his arms, and the tab will tab into his hips right there. 
to lock them in place. And there you have Fire Drive in his gun mode. So you got that going on. It's not a bad looking little gun mode. Not too shabby. I mean, it's still clearly just a folded up robot, but you know, not too bad for what it is. You know, nice little double barrel blaster. You also get some missiles up top. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, you got that. And just like with Lionizer, you do get some effects parts as well. You get some little blast effects here. And done in that kind of rubbery transclearant plastic. And these can plug right on to the barrels. Oops. Like, <laughs> with the greatest of ease. How did I mess that up? I have no idea. There we go. Plug them onto the barrels there. So now it looks like he's doing pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. So that's pretty cool. And of course, any of your bots with a five millimeter port in his hand can hold it. Of course, we'll give it the hot rod because you know it is his target master. So there you go. You have hot rod pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. And that's quite cool. I dig that. Now, what else can we do? Well, let's find out. Well, you do have this smaller three millimeter peg right here on the gun as well. So again, any of your smaller bots with a th three millimeter port in its hand can hold it there. Some giant cannonage going on there. So that's a thing. That's a thing you can do if you want. Now, as far as the effects parts goes, there's a lot you can do with these. Uh, we can bring in the race car patrol. You can take these and these will plug in their gun modes like so so you can have that going on uh these dudes here there we go top shot you can take this plug it on to his cannon so we can pew pew bang bang we can bring in flak you can attach these right here as well so you can also pew pew bang bang to make sure they're actually in securely there you go you can have that going on if you wish the airstrike patrol you can take one and plug it onto the back like so, get a little thruster action going. You can attach into this dude back here. So again, you got some more thruster action going, which is pretty cool. So you got that as well. You can also kind of, sort of, not really. You can't plug them on there. You can plug them on here though. So, hey, you can do that. You can do that too. Hey, options, as always options are good. Uh, with Lionizer, I actually thought you could plug this onto his little his little cannon here, but that peg is actually too small, so it doesn't fit there. I don't know. I could plug it, plug it back there. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Give him a rocket butt. Pew! As far as the other robots go, uh, you know they all have these random pegs on them, so you could take them and you know take these, just plug one there, plug. One back here, you can take the swoosh, you can plug the swoosh back here, people are asking about the swoosh. Yes, you can use the swoosh too, you can plug the swoosh in various places, although it doesn't make too much sense in these cases, but you know, hey, swooshing, you can, you can use the swooshing as well. You can plug this onto the barrel of Prime's gun, so that can also be pew-pewing and a bang-banging. Um, as far as his axe goes, the axe also has three pegs on it, so you can kind of Plug them onto here because that, you know, hey, you know, hey, 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 hey. Um, I wish you could actually plug the swoosh onto the back of the axe. That would totally have made a lot more sense, but there's no way to actually attach it because it just, it just isn't, unfortunately. Not that I found any way, but that would have been cool to actually be able to plug it in back here. Get some nice swooshing action. You could plug it onto the side, which, you know, does you know, kind of works, I guess. Side swoosh. I don't know. But hey. Things. Things you can do. And we can bring in cog. And, you know, same thing with cog here. Again, just got those pegs right there. You can plug one there. You can plug one there. Have that going on if you want. Plugs onto the ends of his guns. So you can pew pew bang bang. Plugs onto the ends of these guns like so. Doesn't plug on here though. There's no way for it to plug onto. Can plug onto these guns like so. So you got that going on. So, again, more things you can do. Same thing here with side swipe. Plug it onto his shoulder launcher. Plug this onto his chest. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? We'll bring in Hound. And again, you know, this can plug in 
to the tip of his gun. This can also plug into his shoulder launcher like so. So you can have that going on. And again, you can plug it onto the uh, ports on his body as well. This one doesn't work too well as far as the ports on the body goes. Uh, the ones that come on the next uh, the next Battle Master makes a little bit more sense because it makes it look like they're getting shot because it has kind of like a little burst effect at the end of it. So, you know, doesn't this doesn't make too much sense as far as pegging them onto the bodies, but just showing it off. So, you got that. Sky Tread, same thing. Just plugs on to the end of his guns, like so. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Mags, you can plug these onto his guns. You can plug this onto his cannon, like so. You can plug it onto this gun, big old sword gun, like that. So you can have that going on. Oops. Bring it on straight. There you go. So you can have that going on. If you wish, you know, hey, all things, all things you can do. Again, you can plug it onto the body, do whatever you want. So always your toy, do what you want with it. The options are there. Oh, you can even plug one onto the bottom of Prime's Axe because there's a little post here as well. So hey, you know, <laughs> Rocket Axe, whoosh. So there you have a fire drive. Um, it's cool that they're bringing the straight up Target Master gimmick back. I like that. I love the design of him, I think he looks really cool. It uh, would have been nice if he had a little more articulation, but yeah, not the end of the world. But of course, the thing I love the most is that he can become an accessory for your other figures and those effects parts you can use with all of your other figures as well, which just ups the play value, and that is something I will never complain about. I love that. So yeah, fun stuff going on with this Siege line. I am very much enjoying it, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Siege of Toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Battle Master Fire Drive. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Pull in your face. Oh, yes, this is a good one. This, this is a good one. The uh, Prime? Real sound. Are you... Are you using one of our little soldiers as a weapon again? No, no, you don't understand. This is actually his function. This is, this is what he does. Oh, well, if it's his actual function, then I, I, I guess that's okay. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong here. Oh, well, good, good, good. Um, oh, by the way, um, have you seen that stray cat I found the other day? I, I, I can't find him anywhere. Um... No? I don't know what Prime is plotting over there, but I vow that we Decepticons will rule- ah! Seriously, who throws animals? Who does this?